uh, <laughs> let's go on to topic two. Uh, our topic two, the, 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 the other question posed by, again, I posed uh, the, what do you guys want to talk about post in my group? And uh, topic two says, are companies relying too much on the same licenses? Is it getting too repetitive? Um, so just go around the horn. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously, we have DC, we have Marvel, we have Star Wars. <laughs> we have the, the main money makers. But I, I have seen some other companies get some new licenses. Um, do you think they are relying too much on the same licenses and they're burning people out with the constant Jokers, constant Batmans? Or do you think there's enough variety out there with the other licenses? What do you guys think? You know, uh, licenses are expensive, right? These these companies pay a ton of money. All I, sorry, all I can see is art. <laughs> we'll let everybody soak in Arch's uh, yeah, scratches and comment. Yeah. And <laughs> it's only funny because it's true. Um, That's right. <laughs> uh, you know, they pay a ton of money for these licenses. And I think, you know, these li they're not just open licenses either where, you know, company can, okay, I've got the DC license. I can make whatever I want. You know, they're, they have very tight limitations on exactly what they can do. Um, and they have commits they have to make to the licensor around, you know, um, what they're going to deliver for money, <laughs> for revenue. So, you know, I, we're always going to see the, the most popular characters. We're always going to see those um, be out in front. So the secondary characters, you know, this kind of goes to what you've been saying, Chris, when, when we do get them, support them. Oh, God, <laughs> you know, yeah. They're definitely at the risk side uh, of the equation there. So support them and prove that they can be successful. So I mean, like the slideshow penguin. Yeah. People I have mean, to buy this thing. You got to buy it. They have to buy it and they have to buy it and they have to buy it. I don't know what the ES is going to be. I'm personally predicting 500. I, I um, agree with that. I think it's I feel like that's probably where they're going to go. Uh, I, I might be wrong. Again, I don't. I don't have any inside information or anything like that. I'm going to say twice that. You're going to say what? Really? I'm going to say twice that. You think well, a thousand? Scarecrow and Mr. Freeze were fifteen hundred. But and they're and they're but they're just now selling out, right? But I'm not sure that's a bad thing for them. They don't need to sell out right away. If they can have pieces. I, I think this one will have to go to retailers, or the retailers are going to be really pissed. Oh, I think it will. If they don't get it. I, I think so, too. I think it's important. But again, this, this release is going to be really different. I mean, really interesting to watch. Because yeah. we said after Ivy and all that controversy with her being an ES of 250, um, th it's, it's going to be really telling what kind of model they go with. But I think you're right, Jeff. I think that retailers would have a cow without being able to have the option. Um, but, I mean... Wouldn't surprise me though. D does Sideshow need that money? Do they need retailers money? There is a ton of pent up demand that they're tapping into with this penguin piece. Right. You know, it, it, it could be that there is a, um, and I don't know how, what their operating model is, but it could be a delayed, like, you know, we've got an ES of 500 where it's going to be exclusive to Sideshow for the first 30 days. And after that, it can go to retail, you know, it's some kind of a, a model like that. Um, you know, Sideshow is well within their rights to just hold it for themselves if they want. You know what? I think that'd be really cool what you just said. If they did a, a, um, a time release window thing yeah. on just the X, yeah. you know, yeah, that would be really cool. And yeah. then people could still buy the collector's edition for a it, longer exactly. period of time. I exactly. like that. Yep. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't think people would be upset. As long as it's publicized. Well, as long as you know. Yeah, you right? got to promote yeah. it. I mean, that could be their new model. Like, but I mean, the, the only the only thing is, is that they they haven't been doing X's. Not not on every piece. Yeah, a lot of pieces they're not. But I think they're doing that to save some cost. Yeah, they are. Um. So Arch asked a good question earlier about the penguin. He thinks he's wondering if we think the penguin is too grotesque in its design. And that it won't match well with Scarecrow and Mr. Freeze. Hmm. I think there's some validity validity to that. I have, a question um, about, I have a question about that too, though, related to that. And I was actually thinking about this when we first saw the pics. Have we seen a pic that is actually bright of that? 
piece, it's a really dark picture. Like if you go to the RSVP page that's up on Sideshow and coming soon right now, it's a really dark picture. Yeah. I mean, really dark. <laughs> they they made him very dirty looking. He looks like he pairs up with uh, the Joker that they just did by Daniel Bell. But I wonder if the lighting is affecting that what you see right there too. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's grotesque just in terms of the sculpt. I, I get yeah. that. But in terms of how dark he appears, I wonder if the lighting plays in here. I think well. it's like dirt all over his face. Even if you look at his clothes, there's like dirt all over his clothes. There's dirt all over his shag. It's like he's been playing in the, in the sewer. sewer. Do you think that we'll get a second head sculpt for him? That's, yeah, I wonder. I really because do. Because if that's the real grotesque, I mean, I could see them doing a second one that's more of the classic, um, a cleaner, you know, cleaner, classic, you know, cartoony looking penguin. I think that that would be smart because then it would influence those collectors that think it's too grotesque to maybe purchase, mm -hmm. um, to give two completely separate looks. <clears throat> um, but, and I, I, there's a comment I wanted to highlight too. Um, hold on just a second. Well, that's one of the things I like about the Prime One is the Prime One. It's a little bit. I, I like the sculpt better on Sideshow, but I like how the Prime One is more cleaner looking and just I don't know. Presentable. Uh, yeah. uh, the Rutledge Record says, "Chris, you, uh, you can't ask us to buy, buy, buy to support this penguin. Yet we're also supposed to be more selective about our purchases, and and by all means, yes, continue to be selective. You know, yeah. if you don't want this penguin, don't buy it. But yep. what I mean is, is that." we have been demanding some of these characters for so long. I mean, 10 years that we have to back that up. We have to support the company because if people don't buy this penguin, then Sideshow's probably going to be a lot less likely to take a risk to make characters like Riddler, Two-Face, um, Clayface, those type of things. Do you, you guys think I'm right on the money there? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I think the key is if, if you're going to order it in this particular case, maybe don't wait. Maybe that's the better way to say it. Order it right away. Yeah, I mean, or... go, going by the groups, I haven't seen a lot of complaints saying I don't like it because he's like, you know, dirty looking or grimy looking and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's a penguin that most people can identify and they're like, oh, yeah, that's the penguin. He's grimy. He's, you know, he's definitely not that kind of more modern. Yeah, you don't get the uh, mayor or club owner. This yeah. is more of a kind of a hybrid of that that classic penguin classic. with a little bit of a with a little bit of a modern twist with the kind of the fur coat and stuff like that. Uh, definitely comparable to the the Prime One piece. I, again, I love the Prime One piece. I ordered it day one, and I love that it's got what four, three or four different head sculpts, including the Arkham one, which was a freaking brilliant move. Yep. Um, so that, so that's, I that's the problem, to John. This penguin reminds me more of like the movie penguin from like Batman Returns when he's like living in the sewers. You know, it's 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 yeah. funny that some people have said that, but so many people have compared him to the Colin Farrell, which I don't see. Mm. But yeah. so many people made that comment. Really? Can you guys see that? I'm like it. I just I didn't see it. So I like the penguin where he's you know more gangster looking. Like you say, he's like hanging out at the clubs. He's clean looking. He's fresh looking. I mean, uh, but don't get me wrong. It looks amazing what they did yeah. on that. So. Uh. Um, but again, yeah. what I, all, all I meant by, by that was just that we have to, we, if we want these characters and you, or let, let's say that you're somebody out there that's been vocalizing like myself, that we want these characters, damn you sideshow, where are they? We're the ones that have to buy. Yeah. yeah. Don't buy it if you don't want it. That's not what I'm saying. But we, the ones that have been saying it for a long time, we're the ones that need to say something um, and spend our money. So sideshow will have confidence to do some of the other characters. Now, again, there are other companies that are going to be doing these characters. So I'm, I'm not, I guess I'm not as down on Sideshow for not making them, knowing that other companies will. Because mm -hmm. back in the old days, Sideshow was the only game in town. Um, mm -hmm. And I am still a massive Sideshow fan. Uh, you know, I talked about it the other day in one of my videos that like, they're still a phenomenal company. It's still offering a great price point and a phenomenal product. Um, but there has been frustration, at least on my part, with the characters they haven't done. Um, especially characters that were like no brainer type of characters, um, at least to me. Um, whereas they've done a million X-Men and some X-Men that maybe people wouldn't want. I don't, I don't know, but like, come on, do a penguin. And they did. And so I'm really, really happy. Um, I mean, in the last couple of years, we got a Batman who laughs 
a yeah. Mr. Freeze, a Scarecrow, and a Penguin. I mean, come on, that's a phenomenal Rogues Gallery right there. Do I want all the all the rest of them? Yep. And they're um, all great. And all the, it, the three you just mentioned are phenomenal. Statues. They're phenomenal, and I can't wait. I'm I, I'm going to have enough room in my new display to completely rebuild my um, yep. setup that I used to have front and center, um, and even have more room than I had in the old case um, to add characters like this. So. I'm very, very excited um, about it. Um, Do you think they'll stick with the 690 price point that they've been going with recently on this one? Some people were predicting 750, 800. I don't think that that will be the price point for this. I okay. do agree with you, Jeff. I think it will be that 600 ish because we have to also consider penguins very tiny. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So even yeah. for 600 that that's a lot because i think that this character is going to be quite tiny i think the base is not going to be all that massive i think it's going to be a pretty small premium format overall i mean they, they might kind of oversize him a little bit just to give him some bulk but I think that i'm curious in. about the base too because of this one penguin that's under the others mm -hmm. how much base there really is this one that's kind of looks swimming yeah in the yeah. front yeah, I like um, the Everybody loves that angry penguin up at the front. That's a lot I of fun. They all have red eyes, which I think is really cool. It is, yep, that that, is really cool. That's um, what I like about guys, this one over Prime 1. Prime 1, the penguins look too, too clean. It kind of just looks like they just threw them on there. Right. Maybe so. I um, think the coat's going to be fabric. Yeah. Oh, really? I do. Yeah. Look at the That's detail the on the... I think, it, I think it's going to be fabric. I need to, uh, I'm going to hit up Tim and see if I can get some in, inside information on that. Cause I, I, I bet you're right. I mean, again, the picture is not that great, you know, with the lighting, but it does look like real fur. Yeah. See, I, I don't, I mean, maybe the coat will be sculpted and the fur will be added on somehow. I don't know. That's what I was thinking that it would be sculpted. It's just the fur would be yeah. attached, but I'll try, I'll hit up Tim and see if I can, uh, find out from him but if you just anyway, wanna... are you guys all in agreement that you, do you guys all think it'll be 600 ish or do you think it'll be more hmm. i think they'll stick with 690 690 okay. i think six i would say just right high sixes if they do a second portrait if there's no second portrait i can see it being low sixes if not six yeah he's um he's a small character but he's a bulky character so he, he still takes up a little bit of space so yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, time will tell. And we've got really off of the uh, the licenses <laughs> question uh, talking about Penguin. But it's a great it's a great thing to talk about uh, for sure. Um, Actually, you know, relevant to the license question, Chris, is yeah. the punchline comment that you just had up a second ago. Yeah. How has Sideshow not made punchline? It boggles the mind. I am surprised, especially, I mean, because what? Prime One put punchline out. And maybe they were going off of punchline sales at, at you know at their own website. I don't know, um, but I, I absolutely love her. Um, Sideshow does very very well with their female characters. Yep, uh, they have they have the best female head sculpt sculptors in the in the in the world. I think. I mean, they're just phenomenal with what they've been able to do with the female portraits. I um, think they do a phenomenal punchline, <clears throat> a great job, and I'm just shocked. I'm shocked that they have yeah. it. If you think about Bat Batman Who Laughs, must be like the most quickest villain we've ever. Oh gotten. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's surprising. I can't believe that she she'd sell as well as him. You know, yeah, um, yeah no question about it. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 hopeful again. I'm hopeful for any new any new characters, which again goes back to the licenses. I think people are wanting new licenses because it would bring us new characters. Yeah, I personally see a lot of collectors wanting maybe more like movie licenses maybe um is that kind of what you feel like the community wants is more like movie characters i don't do know you mean, do you mean superhero genre or? no no i just mean movies in general because i mean outside of marvel and dc what, aliens, what else terminator. what else do people collect hmm. yeah aliens terminator yeah. Creature right, they collect those type of things. And, Jurassic yeah. Park, I mean, but I mean, yeah. those big franchises are already out there. There's a lot of companies representing yeah. those licenses. So I'm not sure what, when people are complaining about this, I don't really know, like, what licenses people are wanting. Like, what licenses are that you're not seeing represented? Right. Um, and it might not just be licenses. They might be talking about characters also. Like, if they a just... A woman for crying out loud. Yeah, there you go. 
I need my <laughs> ES of two. Yes. That works for me. That's right. That's not I bad. Mean, Jamie Summers. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Apollo with the five dollar super chat. To punchline. Who's punchline? I don't know any punchline. <laughs> Are you talking about that black haired Harley? <laughs> oh, Apollo's hilarious. <laughs> Apollo is a massive Harley Quinn fan, ladies and yeah. gentlemen, as you could tell. Uh so absolutely. I will I will try to refrain from mentioning the P word again, Paula. But you would think you would love punchline with it with a with a name that starts with p come on punchline paula oh, thank you very much for the super chat paula that was awesome um so yeah let me know in the let me know in the chat guys what what uh what ones are you looking for um neo john wick and one third i could see uh what queen queen was teasing a john wick yeah, yeah. no a neo i mean a neo uh, Masters of the Universe, Ninja Turtles. Uh, again, PCS doing Ninja Turtles right now. Sideshow's done Ninja Turtles. Masters of the Universe, Sideshow's done that. And also, Tweeterhead's doing all of them. Um, Back to the Future, is a, that would be cool. That would be the, really... Uh, you, you know one that I would love, me personally, I would love to see third scale or life-size busts of Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, that is still a very popular franchise. I know it's kind of dated now, but... I think there's a lot of fans out there that would love a Davy Jones bust or a, you know, a Barbosa or something. I, th I think that you, you could do some really cool pieces. I think maybe even some ships like, you know, have some, you know, I don't know, 10 scale ships or something. That would be really neat. Uh, let me see if there's anybody else that has said what they the, want. Uh, Iron Studios, the Wizard of Oz pieces, they, those, are like on wait list already. Wow, really? For I mean, order. talk about a company with licenses. Yeah, I would. I would dare to say that they have the most licenses of any company out there. It has to be to do with the region they're in, right? Got to be Brazil. Licenses have to be relatively inexpensive in South America because yeah. they they and I don't <clears throat> I don't mean this to sound bad but they are the Funko pops of the collecting. Like they have, like you want yeah. a Funko pop, you can go out and find it. Like it's there. Like they've made everything, every franchise, every version of everything. I don't know how they're still doing it, but they, they're, they're like that. They, they're constantly getting these amazing licenses and people are loving them. Obviously again, great price point at the 10 scale. I know that's not what everybody collects, but man, yeah. If they start doing, yeah, imagine a quarter scale Wizard of Oz. That would, I think, that would be very popular. Yeah. Um, another one that we don't mention here ever, um, but I, I wish I, the one that boggles my mind the most, Disney. Yeah, exactly. Classic. And, cl the villains. If they oh my just god! Went through and made he, he, talk about untapped potential, and I and I know that maybe Disney's license is tight. Um. Didn't What's XM up? just tease a Disney piece? They did. They did. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Beast Kingdom, is, that's why I've been liking their pieces. They've been doing some really cool Disney stuff. Incredible stuff with and Beast Kingdom. Yeah. And I think that they sell well. There's a, there's a, I mean, you talk about our fan base. I mean, Disney is one of the largest fan bases in the world. I mean, the characters are, have been known for 100 years. They're Disney celebrating their 100 year celebration. I think um, a lot of those pieces are like sleeper pieces. I don't, I don't, you don't really see like too much promotion about them. They kind of like just go under the radar. Like, you don't. And for a long time, the only like the high end Disney stuff was that Jim Shore stuff, which is good, but it's like kind of an eclectic look. You know, it's kind of this wood carving. It is. Look. It's, it's very stylized. Yeah, it's very stylized. And it's, it's very good. But this, this new stuff that, again, that, be, that Beast Kingdom's doing, they're, they're really, really good. They're really good quality. They're large size, so they have a really good representation in your collection. <clears throat> but, I mean, just in general, like, Disney is one of those ones I feel like if, if more people tapped into the license, because, I mean, think how many licenses Disney has, which, yeah. obviously, Disney is Marvel, so we, we get the Marvel stuff already through Disney. But, um, I don't know. That's just another. There's so many characters that I think people would love to collect. Um, uh, yeah, uh, X is doing Fantasia. That's the one that uh, we saw teased. Yeah, um, Iron Studios has a Fantasia piece they showed that's Mickey, and they've done resin water and the brooms, and it looks very cool. That's awesome. But it, I think it's going to be, it's only available uh, 
in their country. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Uh, Rutledge Record 499 Super Chat. Thank you guys again for the Super Chats. Uh, and again, and I, I can't thank you enough for those. They're all going to be rolled into the Bat Bunker <laughs> cost. So again, thank you guys so very much uh, for helping support that. Um, I'd love to see statues from The Boys, Last of Us, uh, which we're, are, we're actually getting that from Prime 1. Um, Arcane, Jaws. Uh, there's, oh my God. <clears throat> you remember that Jaws uh, at yeah. San Diego? Oh yeah. my God. I would love to own that thing. It was so cool. That was awesome. Uh, Davy Jones from Pirates and more video game pieces like Resident Evil or Tomb Raider. Um, and I can't remember if we talked about this on the last show or not, but um, having, again, some conversations with the companies, I think that a lot of them are really going to be pushing the anime stuff, the video game stuff, because it's selling a lot more than the DC and Marvel stuff is. Yeah. Um, and so we've been I think... getting Resident Evil and Tomb Raider statues as well. So. Who is? I said... Uh... Uh, Resident Evil and Tomb Raider. We've had a few of those already. Is it uh, through Prime One or somebody else? I think uh, who did? Maybe Delaney. You know, I think PCS did a few. Uh, Laura Craft, uh, Crock, what all the name is? Uh, Tomb Raider. What, what did? Oh, Weta. Okay, Weta. And They've then, done uh, two isn't Prime One doing Resident Evil stuff? Or uh, somebody was doing them? I uh, can't remember. Um, Leo says, in this era of high price points and obscene shipping prices, there's never been a better time to collect one tenth scale, great selection, small footprints, much lower price point and shipping costs. Um, and without a doubt, I mean, it's definitely a great option uh, for sure. Who's the lady with the big hat? She's from Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, that's a video game. Yeah, right. that's uh, that was uh, Pure Arts. Oh, Pure Arts. Uh, Sideshow did a Captain Hook PF, I want to say five to six years ago. I think it's actually been quite a bit longer than that. Um, but yeah, they did... Jessica Rabbit, they did The Evil Queen, and, Captain uh, Hook. Maleficent. And Maleficent. Those are the four that they did. And, man, people were excited. Those pieces are incredibly rare. Yeah. Um, and I was really excited because I'm like, oh, my God, this, this is going to be awesome. They're going to do every character in the book. But they, they only did four. I don't know what happened to the license. I would love to find that story out someday of what happened there. Because um, those, those were Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, thoughts on the new sexy Thanos? <laughs> That's it's funny. So that was a meme of uh, I don't know what do you what do you call it the stripper Thanos? I guess I'm not exactly sure. But I think uh, it, yeah. uh, it, it originated from that story that Ant Man can destroy Thanos by going up his rectum and yeah, yeah. Then, then turning into Giant Man. I think that's where the concept came from. I think so too. So anyway, there has been some customs going around. Uh, pretty funny stuff. Pretty funny stuff. I think uh, there were there were one too many made in that factory picture, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, a lot of people are, are are saying that some of the the licenses they would like to see. I think I think more than anything, people just don't want to see the same character repeated. I think it's I think that's what it's more about. It's that they just don't want to see the same character repeated a million times. But those those pieces are obviously safe. But if what was that? What's the Daniel Bell Joker? Is he is he five hundred? Yes. Yes. Uh, or was it 450 or something like it's either five or six. Um, and so having an ES for a major, major character like that tells me that there's buyer fatigue that it's like, well, if there's already five or six jokers out there, I don't need this one. But if they come out with a penguin, maybe people will buy it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm really anxious to see how this penguin does. Um, I'm very optimistic kind of coming full well. circle to that. I think it'll do well. I hope so. I think it's a great looking piece. Um, I'm anxious to see more. Um, I, I, again, I don't know if it will, but I'm kind of maybe predicting tomorrow that it'll go up for pre-order. Could be. Um, Sideshow usually puts up their bigger statues on Thursday. So um, I don't know. I guess time will tell. Time will tell. I'm still waiting to find a quarter scale Joker that I like. Mm -hmm. I don't have one and I haven't seen one. Well, I know. There's more coming. <laughs> I know there's oh, uh, more coming. That's They're why all... I'm not worried about it because I kind of like the Daniel Bell one, but I'm not. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I would like it better if I ever see it in person. I loved it in person. I I was on the fence about the base. I didn't love the base, but until I saw it in person, I'm like I love it. I love it. And it, I, I get why people nitpick. They're like the, the, the hand reaching out to shake the hands, the opposite hand. And there's some things that people don't like about it. And it, it's another piece. that's kind of, kind of on the grotesque side. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. 
But what I thought about it was that it would not look realistic enough to fit in with these guys. Because it, yeah. it looks almost like an animated or very stylized looking version. That's a good point because I feel like a lot of their releases in the last few years have been like ultra realistic. Like they were trying to make yeah. them look like like that that Ivy that you have back there, like that she's very realistic looking, realistic muscles. Um, but maybe now they're going a little bit more back to comic book look. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. But uh, I'm who's sure all buying? Big one. So let, let me ask you: Who's all buying the penguin? I want to see Probably. the whole thing. Yeah. And the yeah. price. Yeah. 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 I, I'm going to buy it regardless. I'm going to put my money where my mouth, mouth is. Um, how about you, Eric? Is that something you're, I know you've kind of gone away from quarter. Well, that, that was the thing I was trying to decide with my, my cabinet, if, whether or not, if I should keep the quarter scales up top or eventually, you know, replace them with third scale. So um, I, I'm leaning more towards replacing them with third scale and just doing the prime one third scale. If, if it was one third, I would choose that over the prime one though. What about the, the prime one one? That's what I'm saying. I'm most likely going to pick that one up. Okay. I didn't know Even though I like the sideshow more, the sculpt and everything. I mean, I like them both, actually, but I'm a little bit more drawn towards the, the sideshow one. I, I like what they did with the base overall. But nice. um, I really like the prime one with the umbrella open and, you know, flowing in the back and all that stuff. So, I don't know. There's, I like elements of both of them. Yeah. I like that umbrella and the... I love the... I wish, you know, they may do that pink one in quarter scale now. Who knows? It could show up at some point. That's yep. a good thought. Yeah. A very, very good point. It'll be real interesting to if, follow. If that follow was that. in quarter, I didn't think about I, that. I feel like it would go really well with these. But I think the sideshow one, it has enough of a realistic look from that photo to fit mm -hmm. in with these guys. Yeah, I, I like the head sculpt better on the prime one, and I like, like I said before, he's more cleaner looking. He looks more like you know gangster to me, and yeah. Well, you get don't you get four head sculpts on that one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Depending if you like the bonus or the uh, all that stuff. But, but I feel like that earlier, photo has a lot of yellow in the photo. Yeah, it's kind of hard to all see. All the white looks very yellowed. It is. Um, like we said earlier, though, it's like it might be a crapshoot. You might you might just need to get your order in. You know, not wait to see if Prime One might do it. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, yeah. that that might be five years down the road. We don't know. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's I mean, not a huge ES on that one either. So, here's what yeah. I tell people: like, if you, when in doubt, if you like it, buy it, sell it down the road. You wow. know, you might lose fifty bucks, seventy bucks when what that's, you paid. That's uh, assuming people will pay that much for it, because that's the other thing with that Prime One Penguin is it, it's a lot of money. No, well, it'll depend on what the ES is. If it's an ES of five hundred, that's not that many to go around. That's true. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.